Hi, welcome, and thank you for tuning in to Comics, Collectibles, and Memorabilia Review. Today we're going over Capcom's Vampire from Vampire Hunter and Japan to Vampire Savior in the United States of America. We are going to review Vampire Dimitri from Darkstalkers, the Night Warriors. Comic books can be uh, found on Udon, U D O N, Capcom. Well, here's the back side of the box, the dimensions, the makers, and the uh, sculptor. Now we're going to go over points of articulation. He comes with three sets of hands, three head pieces, a bat, and a giant fireball. Here we are looking at Lord Dimitri with the fireball. There on top of his shoulder is sitting Lady Morgan. Size 6 inches. Lord Dimitri stands at a whopping 11 inches and a half. On the right side of him is Lady Lilith Queen, Vampire, Mystic, Lilith Ainslin. She is a 6 inch figure as well. And then we have another 6 inch figure which is Lady Felicia. And standing next to her on the right, keeping guard, is Queen B, Mecha Mobile Suit. This is what she looks like. And on the left side, we have Lady Felicia, Mystic Vampire. And we have N N Nano sitting on Lady Felicia's lap. And on the left side of the corner is Lady Queen Morgan Angelin. Mystic Vampire. Guarding the door is a Soul B. And this is a Mecha Mobile Suit uh, being put together right now at the moment. Uh, so we're reviewing Lord Dimitri. So these are some of the Dawg Stalkers. For Marvel vs. Capcom. So we're going to go over articulation. So his cape is adjustable as far as being able to be able to move it to make certain maneuvers. Right now I got him in a laughing pose. <laughs> Lord Dimitri, he stands very good. How to get in the door? I don't know, man. He's that's why he's a mystic vampire. So he has a wide range of movement. He's not stiff at all. As far as you go to the gym, work out every day, just so that way when you wear a t-shirt, your shirts will look like that when you're when you're dripping wet with sweat. Oh yeah, it just came from the gym. <sighs> so you can move up, down, left, right. Got a bicep swivel and double jointed elbow. Got two other sets of hands. This is just a quick set diorama, an arcade diorama.
Uh, this right here is a ground pack 5.0 that he is staying that the dark stalkers are on. The the background arcade is is building 5.0 arcade. Being how they're based off of a video game, I found it fitting to be able to have them come out of an arcade building, which is run by Lord Dimitri. So this is it for the figure review. Hope you like it, enjoy it. You can find yours at stormcollectibles.com. As I put together my Marvel vs. Uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. Assemble. I should be getting Revolt Maximum Carnage here in a few days, as long as, uh, with uh, Spider Gwen from Into the Spider Verse, the Revolt version. So we'll we'll do a figure review when that time comes. Uh, we'll be able to pair them up. But as you can see for size uh, comparison, Lilith Angelin, she is six inches. Queen Bee is 6 inches, Lady Felicia Crushed Down is 6 inches, uh, Leisha, Lady Felicia Laying Down, Crushed Down in that crouching position is relatively 6 inches, um, this is a Nano, even though we're doing Lord Dimitri figure review. She is often seen in the ball of Lady Felicia. For those curious to know, in the back, in, in the background, for the for who are these figures? Uh, this is a uh, Soul B. Love you, peace, love, and grace, happiness, chicken in the bucket, yeah. This is Lady Felicia. I just took over the show. That's what cats do. Meow. So standing up next to Lord Dimitri. Here we are, Lord Dimitri. Go ahead, stand up, man. Get with it. There we go. So you can see the difference in height. Um, as to her regularly sitting down, she's about 10 inches, so is uh, Lady Morgan in the background. So, uh, yeah, went for that Ryu so I could suck his soul from his brain. <laughs> oh.